Oh yeah, I stuffed up the audio again, so voiceover will have to do. If you've been watching Brian at Hartwood's turning in the stable studio, he's been using these chuck hubs made by Steve at SK Crafts to put his chucks on the wall. And I saw this and thought, I got use for that. I did this burr that you can see in the top corner here recently and I had to use a Dremel to clean it out and work on it to get all the bark and bits out. So I bought myself a chuck hub from Steve at a very good price of $6.99 uh, which is considerably cheaper than the, the metal versions and as my use is intermittent and occasional I think it's the right price for me to pay. So all I'm going to do now is turn myself a little post to stand this up in the banjo. This is just a piece of branch. I'm not worried about the pith. It only takes a few minutes to make and if it cracks I'll make another one. Nice little finishing cut there just to finish it off. Um, give myself a flat top on it by using my round bar skew from Ashley Isles. It goes on there and I've got to allow depth for the screws to go in to hold it in place. So I'll make the post from about there. This is very much a somewhere near will do. So I knock it down to the size I want, which is one inch for my banjo. There's other ways of doing this. This is just a, a way of achieving it. I'm uh, using my round bar skew as a parting tool effectively there. One reason is it gives me a really, really nice edge on the edge of the cut, which applies until it tends to tear out. And then just quickly knock off that bit. Steve's uh, contact details will be listed down below and they'll be popping up on the screen from time to time through the video. But um, this works basically. This sounding just is a bit overkill, but it was down by my ankle, um, or close to my ankle. So I picked it up and used it. Tidy up both ends. Get that out of the way. I'll put the chuck up on there. I'll change the camera in a sec, but I'm going to pilot hole and screw that down. I chucked some oil on it as well. It was lemon oil because it was the first one I came to. It wasn't important. It wasn't didn't need doing, but you know why not? Can't remember what I was explaining at this point, but probably wasn't important. So I put my chuck on here with the um, demo piece in there at the moment because it's not a piece I'm actually going to be doing anything with but um, it was on the floor next to my ankle. No, it wasn't really but you know it's close by. And that's it. I wouldn't want to hit it with a hammer. It's plastic after all. But um, for Dremel work, general cleaning up, levering bark off, that sort of thing. It's grand. It presents it to me in a nice angle. 
easy to work on. And the next time I have a burr in front of me, it'll be a damn set easier than doing it across the bed of the lathe. So thanks, Steve. Email should pop up on the bottom banner in just a second. And as I said, it is in the comments. If you're interested in one of these chuck hubs, you can get in touch with Steve and see if he can make you one. So that's the end of this little video. Um, I cut it down because a lot of it was me talking to the camera and that was pointless really because there was no audio. But I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Cheers for now.